Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day. So in today's video, we are talking about how to stop that dang foundation creasing in your smile lines and in other fine lines and, you know, areas of your face where you get creasing of that makeup. I get a lot of questions about this problem. It is a problem that we all suffer if you even try and deny it. We know you're lying. <laughs> and it can be super disheartening, you know, when you look in the mirror and you think that you've got like this beat face and it looks like you've got like little creases all over your face and you're like, they were not there when I did not have any makeup on. It is so frustrating, I know. So in this video, I am going to be sharing with you a very simple routine that you can use to help prevent those creases from happening. And if it doesn't stop them entirely, it will definitely reduce them a whole heap and have your makeup looking a lot smoother. So like I said, this definitely applies to areas around the mouth, you know, your smile line. It applies to either side of your nose where it creases, it applies to the forehead, under the eyes, or any other areas of your face where you do get your makeup creasing. So if you are interested in learning how to stop your foundation creasing in your smile lines and fine lines, then please keep on watching. So in order for this to work, I want you to start to think about your smile lines exactly the way that you would think about your eyelids and stopping eyeshadows from creasing. And to do that, we use eyeshadow primers. So my favorites are the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pots, the NARS uh, eyeshadow primer. This is a really great one to stop creasing and also the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer. I want you to take a little bit of this primer onto clean skin. Now, obviously, skincare is really important. We need to keep the face really well hydrated, but make sure that you do that at least an hour to half an hour before applying your makeup. And I want you to smooth that eye primer into the areas of your face where you do get those creases. And just the same as on your eyes, you only want to be using a very small amount and focus on pressing it into the skin rather than rubbing. Next up, we're going to set it into place. Now, it is super important that you use a very finely milled translucent powder and not pressed, you know, foundations, colored powders or things like that. I love the e.l.f. one and I also love this Laura Mercier one. Now, picking up a very, very, very small, small, small amount of this product on a fluffy eyeshadow brush, I want you to start to just gently pat that over top of that eyeshadow primer. Again, don't use too much, guys. Building up thick layers is what is uh, resulting increasing on your face. So just very, very, very small amounts of product and gently pushing that into the skin. Now I want you to smile and then really work that brush into the folds of the skin where it creases, exactly as you would work an eyeshadow brush into, you know, the crease of your eye. As I mentioned earlier, this also works for other areas of the face, including the sides of the nose and the forehead. So next up, we want to set all of that in place. And my favorite setting spray to use is the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray. I want you to apply a small amount of that to an eyeshadow brush rather than just spraying it over your face because essentially you're just going to spray it in your mouth and nobody likes the taste of setting sprays <laughs> and then again with that uh, fluffy eyeshadow brush you want to start pressing that setting spray into the skin very very light pressure just over the areas where you have applied that setting powder next up you want to go in with a foundation now my recommendation would be to use a foundation that is a matte finish and again the areas where you do get the creasing try and apply less uh, amounts of that foundation than you would on the other areas of your face for example I get creases on either side of my nose so what I would do is I would apply the foundation on my cheeks and then eventually work down over the areas beside my uh, mouth where I do get that creasing then you want to go ahead and set that into place again with the same translucent powder that you used earlier but the important step to focus on here is to use a pressing and a rolling motion with a sponge this will ensure that that powder really gets into that foundation and the rolling motion will ensure it gets down into those creases and into those you know finer pores and fine lines and whatnot uh, where you do get those creases so really push and roll and then you want to go ahead and set the entire face with setting spray again and babe you are crease proof so I hope you guys found this video very helpful if you do have any further questions or anything please pop them down in the comment section down below and also let me know what other makeup issues that you are having that you would like fixed i love you guys so much i hope you enjoyed the video and i will talk to you all very soon